which of the following numbers is the greatest number? Now, question like this comes in a lot and lots of examinations. And the problem with these questions is that even if you have a calculator, you cannot calculate this one in an ordinary calculator. Hence, we cannot also check using a calculator which one is the greatest. So what do we do? One thing I want to tell you is that questions like these are extremely simple to solve. And in this video, we will learn how to do that. So let's begin. Hello Genesis, welcome to another video in the Nutshell Math series. So let's come straight to the point. To solve any question like this, you just need to remember three rules. And that's it. With that, you can solve any kind of question like this one. Okay, so let us learn that. Suppose there are two numbers x and y. x is equal to a1 raised to the power b1 and y is equal to a2 raised to the power b2. Now the three rules are as follows x is greater than y if a1 is equal to a2 but b1 is greater than b2. For example, 3 raised to the power 6 is greater than 3 raised to the power 5. Simple, not very complicated. Now the second rule is that x is greater than y if a1 is greater than a2 and b1 is equal to b2. For example, 4 raised to the power 5 is greater than 3 raised to the power 5. Now the third one is that x is greater than y if a1 is greater than a2 and b1 is also greater than b2. For example, 4 raised to the power 5 will be greater than 3 raised to the power 4. So this is as simple as that, only these three simple rules. Okay, so now let's come back to the question, which one is the greatest of the following numbers? See, now we won't calculate anything using the three rules. We will compare the powers and bases to find out the greatest one. Now see in here, see, 2 raised to the power 500 and 4 raised to the power 300. For these two, what we can do is this. See, there is 4. So 4 is basically 2 raised to the power 2. So we can write 4 as this. So it will become 2 raised to the power 500 and 2 raised to the power 600. See, we just made the base equal so that we can compare. So now it's simple. See, 600 is greater than 500. So using the rule number one, we eliminate 2 raised to the power 500 because it is not the greatest. Now we have these three options remaining. So what do we do? We cannot make the base equal in here. So we will make the power equal in here. See, we can write 4 raised to the power 300 like this. So 4 raised to the power 3 is 64. Similarly, we can change the other two options. Now see, we have the base different and power is same. So now using the rule number 2, which one is the greatest base in here? It is 81, right? So this simply means that 81 raised to the power 100 is the greatest of these three. So this simply means that the right answer is 3 raised to the power 400. So it was simple just by comparison we found out the answer to this question. And any question like this one can be done by using this method. So I hope you have understood this method. Thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything.